Welcome to this week's episode of Flashback Fridays. It is bitterly cold outside uh, in the Midwest. It's temperatures 20 plus below zero right now. So we're bundled inside today uh, on Friday. We're still thinking turkeys, even though spring seems like a long, long ways away. Uh, so this week's episode, we're gonna go back into our Longbeard Mayhem series that we started last week. It is a series that we started back in college. Uh, myself and Brennan just getting out in the woods, filming our own hunts in between college and life and everything else. And it's really where we cut our teeth on um, filming and producing shows. So we're gonna dig right into it. Here is Longbeard Mayhem Volume 2. As of midnight Wednesday, shows the chance of some showers lingering over the area, and the cooler front will be whipping its way across the state. Morning. April 9th right now, soon to be Saturday, April 10th in about 28 minutes, and uh, we're getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning, we got the four cameramen right here, we got Mansell who's hunting with Bob Anderson as the mentor tomorrow, the Bob Anderson, sorry I don't know the kid's name but you guys will be catching that in the morning, I'm hunting with uh, Andy Anderson, Noah Lydon is the shooter, we're taking his dad John, 
We got Mark who's hunting with uh, my brother Dan who happens to be getting married in the morning or tomorrow. And they're taking out uh, Walker Rennish. And we got Colton over here who's hunting with uh, Josh Johnson and his brother Evan. And uh, we're going to put a little wager on the line. Because uh, there's been a lot of trash talking going on in the shack tonight. And uh, pretty confident all the way around. Everyone seems to be pretty confident. But we all know that someone's going to shoot the first one and someone's probably not going to shoot one. So we're going to we're going to throw a little wager on the <laughs> Mark. <laughs> all right. <coughs> Mark's not going to get one tomorrow. <laughs> really? Okay. Well, I'm guessing that me and Bob are going to be sleeping about 6:45. Okay. I'm going to say that's false because you got a good half hour drive. There you go. There you go. I'll sleep. How about, how about this? <laughs> Although Bob Anderson is known to be able to leave the house, go to the woods, put a tag on a turkey, and be back before someone can drive to the grocery store and buy one. But I still don't think you're going to be back by 645. How about this? The last person who shoots a bird gets to take a dip in Old Angelo Pond. Oof, duh. <laughs> last person, last person gets to When's the last person who took a dip in Angelo Pond? <laughs> Sea seaweed and all. Uh, right off the dock. Right, right off the dock. You're plunging cannonball. The nading, you want. the nading dock. Well, for those of you who don't know what Angelo Pond is, you shall see. That's a given. Angelo Pond's 100 yards behind my house. It was dredged about five, six years ago. Definitely not not the <laughs> cleanest pond I've seen this side of the Mississippi. Hey, if you guys are scared, if you guys aren't that confident anymore, <laughs> hey, that's okay. There's um, some big northern out there. <laughs> Don't wiggle I'll your follow clothes. through. I got enough faith. You agree? Uh, You're in. Bob, I'm hunting with Bob Anderson. Okay. I'm hunting with Andy Anderson, the prodigy. He's like Luke Skywalker. You well, Luke Skywalker and Yoda. That's well, Colin, I think it's between you and I. Well, well, now that we have that narrowed down. Are you in? So you guys just making the bet yourselves? You two are like hunting with the Wookiees. I don't. Well, I have won three world champion uh, calling championships. All right, so last person gets Leon, to take Leon, Melvin, and Cash and don't count. Oh. Last person cannonballs off Brennan's dock into the pond. Stipulations, though. What's that? You got to send a picture message. First one to send the picture message with the kid, okay. bird in hand, on video. Send a duplicate message to the other three. As soon as you shoot it, you have to take a picture message with the kid holding the bird. So, so if you happen to shoot one and dink around out there by it and don't send the picture and you get three messages before you take a picture. You're kind of <laughs> so the three the three slow. losers all dip in Angelo Pond. No, nope, oh. the last person. Oh, last just person one loser. Get a bird. Yeah. So this bet, if no one happens to get one tomorrow, which is highly unlikely, we're all knock going. on wood. We're all going. No, no, it no. Ca it carries over till <laughs> Sunday. This is a weekend okay. deal. Okay. This is the whole youth hunt. So if it doesn't happen in the morning, I'm unfortunate because I can only hunt till eight. But someone's going in the pond this weekend. There we go. I'm if shaking on it. If no one, if everyone has their tag left on Sunday, when the sun sets, we're jumping in the freaking Angelo pond. <laughs> and I guarantee it's probably like 25 <laughs> degrees. She's going to be cold. Huh. Tomorrow morning, we're going to have cameras rolling. As soon as we roll out of here, you guys are going to see all the hunts going down. Someone's going in the pond. And you're going to see somebody <laughs> taking a dip. Yeah. Mark's going skinny dipping in Angelo Pond. I well, I'm hitting the fart sack because I got, I got a lot of work to do in the morning. Longbeard Mayhem, Volume 2, coming at you. I made the bet. I'm going to... Ow, whoa, 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 whoa.
Nice job, Walker. Go get him. <laughs> Send the text, Mark. Woo hoo hoo! That's a bird. That's a boy. That's a kid. Yeah, I'll text. I'll text Brennan. No, we need a picture message, baby. All right, all right. We need a picture message, baby. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. That is a good start to the turkey season, right there, boys. Woo hoo! Good shoot. Not, not me. Alright. Walker just shot his bird. And me, that makes me safe because I just sent the picture message. So I'm not jumping in the pond. It's up for the other three to decide that. Well, opening day's upon us. <laughs> I'm heading down east uh, on 71 to Wilton to meet up with Bob Anderson, taking out a kid this morning. And we have two main goals this, this morning. One is, of course, to get a bird for the youth. And the second one is we need to get a bird before everyone else because I am not swimming in Angelo Pond this year. It should be an interesting morning. It's pretty cool out. Uh, bird should be talking. We're hunting a really good piece. That's what uh, the Andersons told me uh, yesterday. A lot of birds on it. Uh, should be an exciting morning. Uh, hopefully we can get this kid a bird, get him pretty jacked up and uh, excited. So stick with us. Should be a great morning.
Okay, here we are. It is April 10th, the opening morning of the youth turkey hunt here in Wisconsin. Um, took my Eric, Eric, my nephew, out um, turkey hunting this morning, and uh, he's set up in here. Been an awesome country for us over the years to turkey hunt on. Uh, but the landowner has some friends that have come in now, and they pretty much have first hunting rights to it. But um, they did allow us to come in this year for the youth turkey hunt, so this is the first and only hunt pretty much can come in here. So uh, we came in, had one bird goblin, and he pretty much flew down, had a couple hens come in. Actually had one hen with him to start with, and then the second hen joined up with him. He wouldn't come into the decoy, and the hens turned around and pretty much were going to leave. So we, uh, we took a shot at him, and Eric made a beautiful shot at him. So what do you think? Good shot. Good shot. Very good <laughs> shot. But uh, we weren't real, real worried about the footage on this first one because are you still shaking? Look at that. You see that fan shaking? Look at that. That's good. That's what it's all about. Got to get some pictures and send it to the boys so I'm not swimming in the pond here. <laughs> <laughs> Mark just sent me one about 15 minutes ago. Said that they were the first ones on the year to mark one up. So we're number two. Brennan, Andy, oh, I screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, Brennan. You know, and Andy and Brennan had the hot spot. You know, they were going to be the first ones done. You know. Right? Yeah, of course they said <laughs> guaranteed. Yeah, guaranteed hot spot. Who else? Uh, Gotta send one to the bus. That should be all of them. What are we gonna say here? Uh, I'm not swimming this year. Bird <laughs> down. <laughs> Send him.
up, buddy. Hey kid, Foz. I think you might have Foz, give me some brother. So, before the youth hunt, we made a bet this year, and I kind of wrote up an agenda for how it was going to go down on Saturday morning in the youth hunt. Me and Mansell were bored in class up at school, and I wrote up an agenda, and it kind of came back to bite me in the butt. So, they're making me read it off word for word. So, here we go. Here's Mansell's agenda for Saturday, April 10th. 4.15, roll out of the fart sack, brew coffee. 4.30, double check cameras and batteries. 4.45, hit the road, Wilton bound. 5.30, set the decoys and wait. 5.55, Bob gives some seducing tree yelps. 6.20, bird down, outtakes and pictures. My agenda. 4.15, wake up, jacked. 4.30, load the vehicle. 4.45, meet up with Andy, little feller, and little feller's dad. 5.15, head to set up. Jacked. 5.30, ready to rock. 5.50, turn on the sport views. 6.15, fly down. 6.30, bird down. Mark's agenda. 4.15, wakes up and remembers he's hunting with Dan, so he goes back to sleep. Colton, 4.15, same as above because he knows he's hunting with Slaz. Well, as we know, I was the last one to get a bird on camera. It. Everyone to go. Here goes the 2010 BVO Angelo Pond Plunge. <laughs>
All right, well, I just got done jumping in. There's a lot of seaweed in there. Water's probably 50 degrees. No, it's probably warmer than that. But uh, Pretty warm. Andy was who was guiding the hunt that, that morning, told me to leave the calls in the truck. So I'm like, all right, whatever. But we didn't get a bird, and Andy was calling. So Andy's Andy feels like he needs to jump in here. So round two. Gotcha. I will never let a collie take the fall for my actions. I call the bird in, 25 yards. I don't know what else I can do, man. Ridiculous. Do it again. Ooh. Hey, nice yeah. 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 What do you think? Go down, huh? Oh, baby. That's where I like them. It's in my range. <laughs> See, you picked up something again. I'm God dang it. I don't know. Yeah. The same thing happened last year. You gotta pick this up. I think I got it where I want it, though. Don't oh. I couldn't believe it. Oh, there he lays right there. There he is, right there. There he lays. <laughs> cool. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nicely done, man. Yeah, here we are. The first day of Wisconsin turkey season. First morning. Got lucky. Nice tom. Decent tom. Two and a half year old bird. So I'm going to tell you what I think when I watch all these videos. So I'm going to give you my version. We got this bird. Thank God everything went cool. It was an awesome, fun hunt. So when we get to the bird, like every bit on TV, man, look at that, look at the spur on him. Look at the beard. Man, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier. I mean, I couldn't be happier. Well, I'm putting a different version on this. He could have a 12-inch beard. It could be an inch and three-quarter spurs. Then I'd be happier. But I'm still happy. That's your tip of the week. <laughs> Don't ask me where I got him, folks. <laughs> <coughs> it's Friday morning. What are they, the 16th? Yeah, 
It's five o'clock. Trent and I are going out to Bremen. Trent's got his bow, he's taking first shot. I'm sitting with shotguns to back him up. Trent roosted the four of them last night right by us, so we got ooh, we got uh pretty good high hopes today. Should be right on top of us. Hopefully it goes a little better than yesterday went. One mark shot was the biggest one. Was it? If I could have moved that, like once they cleared that top, I strutted it once and then I had to move my hand to the camera. But last yesterday, horrible day. I went out. I didn't hear anything. Trent and Brennan, they were up on Schmitz's and they heard gobbles and everything. So decided to go with them today and. Uh, Set up in the morning and we heard maybe what three gobbles off the roost. If that one or yeah. two, three. Then we uh, came down to the lower part in the valley here to get out of that ridge in the wind. And we had one gobble right down here, and uh, we set up on him for well, I think it was 20 minutes, half hour, nothing. So we decided to come around the corner, and as we were walking up, we heard one gobbling up here up in the valley. 
So we sat down in this makeshift blind that the Schmitz's were so nice to make us. Clearing out everything, so. Calling and they came right down the ridge and there's two of them. Perfect time for a double, we thought, but as it would have it, Trent wasn't able to pull back. Huh? So then Brennan gave me the go and Trent gave me the go to take him with the gun. We just got on this piece of land and uh, still got turkeys around us. We got set up in probably the most open piece of piece of the land that we could, and uh, this bird came in. Two toms came in. The first time they gobbled, they were only 150 yards from us, and they came fast. And uh, I don't know what they didn't like. It couldn't have been Trent drawn. No one moved. I don't know if they didn't like the setup or what it was, but they, they turned around and I told Trent, I've been having a hell of a time with the birds this week. If you're gonna, I told him if he's gonna shoot, uh, let her fly, and he asked me how far, and I must have been right by telling him 35. That's a pretty good educated guess, I guess. And uh, he put the shot on him. It appears to us that he smoked him. He went up the hill and he... He's down. That other bird's pecking down. We... He's down. So, we're going to sit here for a little bit. And we're going to go get Trent's bird. This is the first time I've ever filmed a turkey hunt with a bow and arrow, so... Pretty pumped right now. Hey, shoot, bud. He's down right there, ain't he? Well... Oh. It's been about 20 minutes. Bird's up here on the hillside. He's been flopping around for probably 15, 20 minutes, and the other bird that was with him just finally left him alone. So we think he's dead. We're gonna walk up here and real slow and see if we can get a hold of him. Job. I know Dad was out scouting tonight, and he hasn't called me or said anything on what the, what the word is. And usually he calls me about two or three times a day, gives me the the news. So I think he's got something up his sleeve. He's hiding something. I think he's got a bird on the perch in the morning, and uh, 
he's not telling me. So we're gonna sneak in here and see what he has to say. Let's see what's up. I know we could go by Langs and it'd be a 75% chance there'd be birds there, okay? But I know where there's two towns. If we could get there, they're not going to go toward across the road. They're going to come work in that field, that, that edge down. I think if it was me, I, I always like to go where I see them. Kitty! Well, it's night before first season and uh, Pops warned us that we can't leave Alberto out for the cat to play with. And as you can see, Happy's over here. Just itching to get her paws dirty and getting in a little trouble at night. So, we're gonna put Alberto to roost so he's in prime shape to fight the turkeys, not the cat. So let's roost him up. flying down a little earlier than the rest of the turkeys in the morning. Right, wake him up about 4.15. He'll be ready to go to work. Catch in the morning. Just getting ready to get a few things together. Uh, this morning, Dad's getting the truck up here. We're going to start loading everything. Uh, what we're going to be trying to do, we got three cameras. Brent's going to be around the main camera right next to Pops. And then I'm going to be back with the secondary camera behind the shooter and the cameraman. And uh, we're going to have Brendan hooked up to the wireless mic this morning. So we can get a little communication with uh, me and him and listen to him and Pops as the birds are going crazy in the woods, hopefully. And then uh, we got our other handy cam here this morning that we're going to be running. Uh, we're going to try and set that out a few yards away from the decoy and see if we can get some up close and personal action. So, like I said, Dad's just rolling up here in the floor. He's all jacked. He's doing hot laps. So, uh, we're going to get out there pretty soon here. And uh, hopefully we have a little luck this morning.
Nice shooting, Pops. Oh, that surprised me. I was, I was waiting for him to come back here. That's a. I had no clue he was there until you. I thought I heard you say something, or you said something yeah. to the left. I didn't really want him to speed on my ankle. <laughs> I knew he was gonna. When they raised their head like that, I knew he was gonna start beating. Come on, you could have you could have sacrificed Alberto. My hundred and eighty dollar decoy. I didn't want him beating the heck out of it. It don't get much better than that. You know, <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. You know what really seals the deal on that that spinning uh, strut is that spin. You know, I mean, it's not just raising the fan, but that motion. That's a two-year-old bird, I bet. Yeah, that motion, that's what really seals the deal. We they need like, the face mask down so we can see your ugly mug. Oh. <laughs> there it is. That, that spinning motion is the thing that really it's so realistic. Yeah. You know, that's the difference. I mean, that's the difference between that decoy and the competition. Well, now we gotta walk halfway home. Called men with the keystone. Call seducer. <laughs> oh, hunted with a lot of old timers. But Robert Mansell. Is a different breed. The guy just likes to run. He got the bird in hand. We had a hard enough time getting pictures. But he, I think he's got some kind of bet going on that he has to be the first one to the bar to register this thing. And he's just booking it out of here. Slow down. So here's a tip for you. If you think you're going out with an old guy and you think you're going to be getting take it easy you got another thing coming Robert Mansell does not mess around in the turkey woods he conditions for this <laughs> he told us we better start running before season just keep up with him because he's been out jogging around Millador and it's Millador is a pretty big town and if you run a lap around Millador you're doing pretty good I'm talking quarter of a mile max Uh, April 16th, uh, first season, I'm out here with my brother Nick, trying to get my first bird with a bull, and uh, we're in the same spot my brother Evan shot his last weekend, and uh, we had a lot of birds gobbling off the roost, but nothing come down to the field, saw a few hens, and uh, we heard uh, a couple up top behind us about 9 o'clock, and they finally came in sight of Fritz here, and uh, they came running right in. Um, Pour him up, you know, <laughs> put on a good show, and I was able to draw without a blind, it was, which was, it wasn't too hard actually, and uh, made a good shot, he went right down, and just whacked him. 
It was fun. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Chad. Thanks a lot. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> All right, here it is, um, Saturday, second season here in Wisconsin. Hunted pretty hard all day yesterday, never really had anything going on, but uh, just heading out to uh, our first setup this morning. Uh, gonna be bow hunting here for probably the first couple setups, probably till 10, 11 o'clock, and then gonna be switching over to a gun. So, a little bit rainy, a little windy, We'll see what happens. No clue how far that was, but I guessed it at 30. And that was about 40, 45. What would you rather have, today or yesterday, all day? I'd rather have a day any day. I had a shotgun 15 minutes ago. Let's get the bull on the first one. Oh. <laughs> macho, macho. You know what, I, be, I have to say, it is hard. It takes seasoned professionals you know, to bull hunt. Seriously. <laughs> you know what, and the amazing thing is, look out. Uh, I'm watching the Outdoor Channel a couple nights ago. There's a 12-year-old girl shot up there with a bull. <laughs> Wait a minute, you got a weapon and I don't. Yeah, as you can tell, I've seen you shoot. <laughs> Alright, now, you just saw, just saw the story, we just saw him miss one. In my defense, it was a 40 yard shot. Whatever, I saw. The fact is, is that the amazing hunter that shot a good with a bull last week. That would be me. Much, yeah, that'd be you. Remember, Bull on it takes patience, takes, you know, waiting and all, being in the spot. Well, we had to get up on top of it. We had to get up there, had to get up there, had to get up there. By the time we get up, all of it tore down, he's coming. So we got to set camp up right away, get, get get all hurried up, get back in position, you know. I was flustered, is what I'm trying to get to. <coughs> I didn't have time to get settled in and, you know, relax, so I'm Blame goes square on the camera guy in this one. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> okay, here we are. We went back, and he grabbed the shotgun. We are above where Andy missed that one with the bow this morning.
right there. Yes! That a boy, baby. That a boy. Yes! <laughs> Spin and strut, baby. Wow! Hello, this is Andy with your back by the outdoor tip of the week. You know, I'm new to new to the sport of hunting turkeys with a bowl. And uh, you know, I'm a big shotgun hunter, I've always hunted them. You know, I've been hunting turkey now for 12 years. And uh, never never shot a turkey in the spring with a bowl. Um, but like I said, it, it's a very challenging sport and you know, shotgun hunters have a huge advantage. You get, you know, 50, 60, 70 pellets where, you know, most bull hunters get one shot. So like I said, I've been thinking about it, you know, how how can I make it happen this year with a bow and arrow? How can I make sure that when that bird does get in that he's a dead bird? And, and I think I got something. You know, I, I've rigged up my bowl here set up so now I can shoot three arrows. You know, one's going high, one's going right in the middle, one's going a little low. So, like I said, you get a bird within five, six, seven, eight, ten yards, you know, one of those arrows has got to hit a sweet spot. And you know, if you get multiple birds, you may fill two tags. So, like I say, if you if you can get rig your bow up to get more than one arrow out of it, you know, you, you might be in the ship. So, like I say, set your bow for as many arrows as it can handle and, uh, like I say, shoot straight and you'll probably get one. So, again, this is Andy, and that's your Back Valley Outdoor Tip of the Week. Alright, so Sunday of first season, and we have one hunter that actually rolls out of the fart sack, so we're sitting here with four cameramen, and no one to film except Fritch. So we're going to go film Fritch, and we're going to have all sorts of cameras flying everywhere. So if this works, on to the year. Sunday first season. Brazy's in the fart. Bobby's in the fart. Dan's in the fart. Bob, Aaron, Andy, all in the fart. We're going to kill a bird though. So here we go. Should, should we start doing like Chris Angel stuff? He's all like. <laughs> <Why then? laughs>
You back! You back! <laughs> woo! 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 <laughs> Boom! You My hand is froze You're on? like solid. Hey Fritch. Yeah. Since since we're hitting it big, this uh, second year of us doing our video, we're paint, we're making tallies. Put that tally in there. You got it. Fritch is doing it on there. A pleasure. Turkey tally. I got five this year that I have seen hit the ground. Hopefully I fill up the whole brim. <laughs> Mark and, ho up. and hopefully we get a whole bunch of hunts so we can go right through them and continue to bring another video. Mark me up. Mark. Rich, Rich, <laughs> Rich does the honors. He shot him. Are we in here or you want her there? Right, right, right here's the other ones. Right there. You want a cross hatch or one? One more. One more. Number five, baby. There we go. Give you a tie. You go first Fred. place. Oh, you want yours too? <sighs> Number five for me too. All right. You want a cross hatch or you want one? I want a cross hatch. All right. Well, that cross hatch just makes me jack. <sighs> New Java. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Mark is yours. Come, oh, babe. Well, thanks, boys. Batman. That was fun. Bam. Like Captain Planet. <sighs> Bam. <laughs> <laughs> So here it is, it's the third day of third season here in Wisconsin. Um, unfortunately, this is the first day I, uh, I had to make it out this season. Um, unfortunately, I had to work. Um, so the first few morning setups, uh, not a lot of action. It was really windy that morning. And as luck would have it, uh, on the way home to go to work, I spotted this bird on some property that we had permission to hunt on um, about a thousand yards off the highway. I asked Brennan if that would be a, an easy stock to do, and he said, "Yeah." So we 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 walked up the hill, and we kind of we kind of stalked up the fence line, and I knew as soon as that Tom saw a spinning strut, he was gonna come in on a string, and that's exactly what happened. <laughs> tells the story there uh, I unfortunately missed not only once but I missed twice um, that's just the reality hunting I guess there's nothing I can do about that but uh, this story is all about redemption and uh, I made redemption happen after Friday I wasn't able to hunt again till Sunday and uh, Sunday morning I decided that I would go out with guides Bob and Andy Anderson um, and they took me all over Monroe County and uh, unfortunately were unable to, to get me on a bird. Um, so Brennan called me about 3.30 that afternoon. I was about ready to give up hope. And uh, he said, hey, if you want to go down Devil's Hole, I'd be more than glad to take you down there. So uh, me, Andy, Mark, and Brennan uh, loaded up and we headed to Devil's Hole. And uh, we had a gobbler going down the ridge from the truck as we were suiting up. Um, we tried to do a setup on him. Unfortunately, he spooked and flew off the hill. Um, and about an hour later, uh, birds were starting to fire up, and we had one coming in up the valley there. We decided to set up on him, and uh, he was coming from about 400, 500 yards away, and uh, he got about 350 yards away. We could just see him coming around the bottom crest of the hill there, coming down into the bottom, and three jakes gobbled up on the hill and kind of intimidated him. He went back up the valley, but the Jakes, they came right down to see Spinning Strut, and uh, I'll let the video tell you the rest.
top of this green tree in front of us. She's coming this way. She's like going across. She might be just getting on the other side of the creek though. Big Jake down. Got, got some real hooks on him. He's a limb hanger. Make him look big. But uh, got a solid two inch bristle on him. Oh yeah. Well, oh, finally made it out of the hole. The guys told me they're gonna take me out hunting this afternoon, but they didn't tell me we were flying down the Florida for Osceola's. It's 108 in the shade. Oh, I'm dying. But main thing, Thunder Jake on the ground. I ain't gotta walk anymore. Our good friend Jenna back from school drew a third season tag and me and Brendan took her out during the week and it was gonna be her first turkey hunt and it was quite an experience I'd have to say. Uh, Tuesday came before the season and we took her out and gave her a few shots with the 535 to get her comfortable. And little did we know that uh, we had a shooter on our hands. Woo! I'm so excited. <laughs> All the guns sighted in. We know Jenna can shoot. So as long as she don't get too worked up in the morning, I think we'll be all right. I won't be worked up. I hope. Well, after a couple hard days of hunting, uh, Jenna had to go back for the weekend, spend some time with her family. And Sunday evening rolled around, and I gave her a call. And she was able to get back into town, and we tried one more last setup to make sure that she wasn't eating tag soup. <laughs> We can go maybe drive around and block quick, or maybe try up uh, a couple other spots. Maybe there's, there's some bird chance we'll get on another bird. So. Okay. All right, let's do that. A girl. Yes, that's how you shoot. Woo! <laughs> Wait, do we have to sit here? No. <laughs> we can get up. No. 
<laughs> oh, I just caught that. That's my first one. Nice job. Oh, my heart's pounding. I, just, I was lucky enough to just catch it coming around the corner when we stood up. Oh my gosh, that made me so nervous. Grab its legs. I lost my hair tie because <laughs> I was too excited. What do you think of that? That was fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. I just stood up right over here on the right where that corner is. I just saw him come around the corner right when uh right when I stood up. <laughs> so I dropped down. I know it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I could get my gun up in time. Oh, you see me filming on my belly? No, I was I couldn't laying, see you. I was, I was laying flat on the ground with the camera on my chest. I was too <laughs> nervous to turn around. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was fun. Hello? Dad. Yeah? I got one. Yeah, Dad. Yep. <laughs> it's huge. Well, I think it's huge. Well, how many pounds is it? I don't know. How many pounds is it, do you think? Uh -huh. I Hold on a second. Well, it don't matter. It don't matter, John. It's heavy. 18. Oh, I bet it's I like, know. Mike thinks it's like 18. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Did you, oh, has it got a nice beard or not? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I bet you the thing is over 20 pounds. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what. That's what the average is. Anybody's got a half-ass beard, you know. It's been yeah. Going like, you know, around 18, 20 pounds. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna try calling Quentin, okay? Huh? I'm gonna try calling Quentin instead. Okay. Well, he's gonna be. He'll he'll be a bomb. <laughs> yep, he will. And you're probably just as happy as you are. <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Bye, Dad. Congratulations. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Bye, -bye. Fourth season here in Wisconsin, Mark and I both have tags. Um, our third wing man, Mansell, couldn't make her today for the devil's whole extravaganza. Um, we're heading down this morning. We got a big chunk of land that we can hunt today. Uh, devil's hole. A lot of birds. A lot of good area to be filming turkey hunt. So we got my dad behind us. He's uh, he's gonna be at a drop off on the. I guess it'd be on the northeast end. And we're gonna park my car on the southwest end. And we're gonna cover her today. And hopefully walk out with 50 some pounds of turkey on our backs so stick with us well it's about quarter after four we just got to uh, our southwest drop off and uh, chauffeur here my dad Jerry is uh, gonna haul us up to the top and we're gonna head out the ridge and make a setup and make our way into the hole so here we go
you get it? <laughs> oh, baby. That's Brian's first video oh. bird. My first good kill on video right there, folk. Since we just had Jake's come in, it's getting to be that time of day where they're not really talking. We got some good elm trees here and Brennan shot his turkey so we're thinking about it. Let's look for some morales and we can have some turkey and mushrooms today. Oh yeah, we can definitely have some mushrooms in there. Mark, Mark, gobble, right down the valley. Set up over here. He's coming. Yeah, buddy. You don't look very excited. <laughs> it's 4 3 in the morning, but he's excited. <laughs> Ready to rock? Yeah. Well, you. Oh, yeah, I'm ready to destroy one. I roosted one. Did you? Yeah, I'm roosted up there, yeah. For us or you? I think he'd be flying down here in 15 minutes. He's kind of. He's, he's good already. That's how you. 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 That's Start gobbling up on the hill, so we snuck up there. I didn't have a tag till the next week, but we wanted to go do a little scout. We got up there, and there was like 10, 15 toms and about 30 hens. They were all over the place. And uh, so I figured, well, I'm going to get up there next week. And we went to make. There, here he comes. Here he comes. He's coming up on the hill up there.
Yes. First bow Tom kill of my career. He is one of the lightest Toms I think I've ever had. He's not very heavy, but I don't care. He, he is a young two-year-old bird. But that was awesome. Oh man. I didn't even sit there talking, huh? <laughs> wow. I didn't have my tripod ready or nothing. <laughs> I was expecting we were gonna be moving here pretty soon. That's, that's what I was thinking about, yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know. We're just talking, look up on the hillside and here it coming. That's what they like to do. They like to come up off that top and Wow. I don't I know it's rare, but I'm speechless, man. I can't believe it. I thought we're not gonna get nothing here. We, like I said, we're talking about getting ready to leave. Bird shut up. But you know, I didn't get dressed up and put my best makeup on for nothing. So that was cool. First one. Turkey hunting for 21 years, the first time I've ever shot with a bull. Well, here it is, May 12th of the beginning of the fifth season here, Wednesday morning. Looks like it's going to be a good morning. We uh, in this spot, we've been waiting for the birds to move into. And uh, sure enough, they just, uh, Dad just started noticing they're just on his way to work in the morning. And uh, so we decided this was the morning to, to go give him a shot. I got up at about 2.45 this morning to head down from across Wisconsin. And it gets light at about 5. I gotta, we, gotta, we can hunt until 7. We both got to go to work. So driving two hours to hunt two hours and hopefully don't need that long. But... Like I said, it should be a good morning. It's misty, overcast, about 47 degrees out, 44 degrees. So hopefully they're gobbing this morning. Hopefully they, uh, they want to cooperate and hopefully we get some good video for you guys. Sorry, don't wait for the kiki. <laughs> <laughs> I long for you got, got the string to the decoy. <laughs> well, here it is, May 12th of the fifth season, uh, first Wednesday of the fifth season. You know, it's been rainy, it's been rainy nasty the last couple days, and called a little break here this morning. I uh, figured we uh, we'd get out before work this morning and see what we could do. Uh, had some birds gobble off the roost, good, and flew around away from us, and there's a nice field up, you know. By 80 yards past, we did our first setup back in the woods, and so we moved up to this and had a hand out in the field, and some birds got them off in the distance. Well, just getting ready to pack up and leave, and like I said, we both got to be out of here by seven, and well, sure enough, just before the seven, one gobbled just about 80 yards away, 90 yards away, and uh, as you see by the footage, it came, he came right, coming right to the decoys for whatever reason, didn't like something, and uh, decided he wanted to take off and get out of here, so got on him and squeezed the trigger off and like I said pretty nice Tom here unfortunately like I said it's been raining out he's he's kind of wet but got some pretty good spurs on him here I don't know if you can see those but like I said it was a fun hunt he came he came quick when he finally decided to come and like I said unfortunately 
don't have a lot of time this morning. Got it, like I said, we both gotta be getting ready to go to work by seven o'clock. So, well worth it though. Them. That's getting tucked in a pile of dirt, hey? you see him over there? No. Yeah. I thought he saw me at first because he's looking right at me like, oh no. Strutting in through the woods here. And then, <coughs> I didn't know there was two of them until he came, both of them came out. They got Romeo here a little bit. Looks like he got a little, he's in pretty good shape still. Not too bad they didn't get you too good, buddy. But he trains for that. Yeah. Mike comes up here. <clears throat> Tells me to pop down right in the spinach here. 
and they might have fell off, but I had a little... No, oh, they're still on there. I had a little camo job above my head this morning. That way no, none of them could see me. Look at that. <laughs> we'll take these out now. Stealthy. I don't need them anymore. Well, good morning, folks. It is uh, Sunday, May 23rd. The last Sunday of Wisconsin turkey season. It's been 32 straight days for us. Um, these last two weeks have been really, really hard hunting because of the early spring this year. The temperatures have been way warmer than we'd like. It's supposed to be 90 degrees today, and we're going hunting. Um, we got Eric, my cousin Eric Flock with a gun this morning. Um, he's got a bird with me the last four years and uh, he ate tag soup once already this year and I'm not about to let it happen again so me and Colton and Chuck are going down Devil's Hole. I'm gonna try a setup that I haven't tried yet this year and hopefully we can get something done here on the last day and end the season with a bang so I'm gonna fuel up here on some new Java and then we're gonna head ourselves to Norwalk Chuck. That is the way to close the season.
listen to the videos when Brennan's out there. You'll hear somebody he's, else calling. He's a habitual toe stepper. Yeah, he, it's not, he's a toe snapper. You'll hear somebody calling. You'll, the bird will be coming in. The bird will be coming in. The Brennan, the Brennan steps on toes and takes over. Wow. Yeah, crazy man. <laughs> huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh well, we're gonna get going, so you have a nice day. Thank you. Yep. Well, thanks for tuning into the show this week. Tune back next week. We're gonna dig into some more turkey hunting action over the last five, six years and uh we got spring slowly slowly approaching and we're pretty jacked up here to get back out start doing some scouting and then uh hopefully we can smash a bunch of birds this spring so check back with us later uh if you like what you're seeing here give us a thumbs up that helps us out a ton throw us a comment below and don't forget to subscribe we'll see you